It's got to be my birthday. My top three. My favorite three weapons for Crucible just all got buffed. My go-to auto rifle, pulse rifle, and SMG just caught a buff in this week's TWAP. I'm going to leave it linked down in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, I, there's a lot of good stuff going on in it, guys. It's a lot of good stuff. We're coming right up on a new season. Of course, they're doing a lot of weapon tuning. But I am really excited right now because the weapons that I value most are heavily slept on. People don't appreciate them or consider them top of the line. And I think they are the best in their slot or tied with the best. And they just don't get the appreciation they deserve. So today we're going to open that up. I know a lot of other creators aren't going to talk about it. Not this guy. Let's jump into it. So first and foremost, what I want to talk about are some of the changes to the weapon pulls and the perks. So one of the things that they just did, which is going to make farming easier for us and more consistent to get our god rolls, is they have addressed an issue where playlist weapons from Crucible, Gambit, and Strikes weren't randomizing individual perk columns, perk counts, correctly based on the number of resets. So when you play inside of Strikes or inside of those playlists and you get it up to Legend, rank 16, and then you reset it, further rolls beyond that point are supposed to come with multiple traits on them further consolidating your options. So you're getting like basically two rolls in one. There's multiple rolls on the gun. It's gonna be easier to get the God roll, right? So now that this is gonna work and be more functional, it should be easier for us as gamers to get those playlist weapons. That being said, that's where the majority of my favorite weapons are. Up here, we have an updated the perk pools for Dares of Eternity weapons. So we're gonna be seeing different traits on top of these weapons, which really excites me. I don't know if this means we're gonna get new weapons, if they're revamping the olds or re-rolling things, but they're also adding an origin trait. This is where one of my favorite weapons comes in, the BXR. It is my go-to PvP pulse rifle. In a meta where pulse rifles dominate, they have just decided, hey, let's add an origin trait to it. I'm like, yes, please, let's take that 10 and turn it into 11. It's easily a contender with the peace of mind, the horrors least, and the best ones out there. And I'm really excited about that. So maybe get out there and get farming and looking out for one of those roles. For the second option right here, we have seen that the Gambit and Iron Banner origin traits were too specific to be generally useful, so they've both been redesigned. Great awareness. This is a brilliant idea by them. So the Invader Tracker is being reworked for Gambit weapons. It's being renamed to Gun and Run, and they have redesigned the functionality to give a sprint speed increase on multi-kills. This hits my other two favorite options, the Herod C and the Borrowed Time. The Borrowed Time has, in my opinion, the best collection of traits and the best stats for an SMG that you can currently obtain. With the Shayor's Wrath, the multi mock being nerfed and retired, those no longer being in the game, this is without a doubt, in my opinion, the best SMG you can get. Others get really close to performance. The Funnel Web, the Submission, but at the end of the day, I think this weapon edges it out. And now that it's getting a perk that's going to allow you to get sprint speed, which is gonna be just so good and synergize well with an SMG, I love what that's gonna do for the borrowed time. The Herod C is also going to inherit this change and have a buffed up origin trait, but it's gonna go a step further because it gets buffed twice. Not only this, but the 360 RPMs, auto rifles have just been granted additional stability. So they're gonna be more manageable. If you guys haven't caught, I have made God roll videos on all three of these weapons. If you wanna know what to do, what to wear and what to use on these things, I'll have those linked in the description down below. The Herod C is without a doubt the best legendary auto rifle, in my opinion, in this game for both PvE and PvP content. I just made a video on it a couple days ago and it is that good and it's about to become a little bit better in two different ways. So I, I'm just in heaven right now, man. I am happy about this news. Let me know what you guys think down below. What was your favorite part of this week's swab? And I will catch you with another video soon. Subscribe and tick that bell so you don't miss future uploads.